somebody up in here. I wish I knew somebody up in here besides me that 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 you know that. And sometimes when you gotta confront a difficult situation before you go in, you say, Lord, help me. You, 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 you're not asking the Lord to help the person you gotta talk to because you know you, so you say, Lord, help me. And, and so He says, You got to abide in me. And listen, God expects us to produce some spiritual fruit. And he says, he says, he said, every branch that is fruitless, he takes away. And then watch this, watch this. And those that produce, he purges it so you can produce more fruit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Everybody up in here ought to not be satisfied that you say. Hey. You ought to be concerned about others being saved. Y'all gonna get this thing in a minute. And, and the reason that a lot of us have fruitless lives is because we are not abiding in the word. Yeah. Uh, help me, somebody. Help me. Help me. Help me, somebody. Uh, you know, uh, for real. For real. If we learn how to be honest with ourselves. About us. Hello? Have you ever acknowledged you to you? Okay. How, how many of us, how many of us in here, how many of us in here got a temple? Thank you, thank you. I love you, girl. Look at Cassandra over here raising up hands and feet. Hands up. And if you if you acknowledge that, if you if you acknowledge that, then you ought to be asking the Lord to help you with that. Yeah. And in order for him to help you with that, you're gonna have to let him abide in you. That's all right. Uh, you, you're going to have to learn how to, when you get in heated situations, you're going to have to learn how to say, Lord, get this. Because oh, sometimes that's what I have to do. Lord, Lord, get it before I get it. Lord, I, I'll be honest with you. Lord, get it because I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Because I've, I've even been in meetings. I've, I've been in meetings where, where I, 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 can I be honest? Uh, I, I've been in meetings. I've been in meetings where some of I already had the gun cocked. Yeah. <laughs> and I told the Lord, I say, all right, if you don't get them, I will. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm the only one. No, sir. No, sir. And, and, and what he says is that if you abide, there needs to be a connection. There needs to be uh, anybody in here, anybody in here, you so connected, you so connected to your parents and how they rear you that when you are tempted to step out of the bounds of that, it reminds you of them. Yeah. 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 And anybody been there? Anybody? And, and the Lord said, that's the kind of connection I want with you. And if I have that kind of connection with you, you can produce some fruit. Yes, sir. And when I when I looked at this text, when I looked at this text, I was kind of bothered. Will, I was kind of bothered. Because he says, he says, every branch that bring forth fruit. He purges it so we can produce more fruit. I, and what I get out of the text, what I get out of the text, uh, um, I can't be satisfied with what I do for the Lord and become content and complacent because he never wants us to be content and complacent because when you finish doing one thing, he wants something else done. Yeah. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. I, I, I see I ain't the only one yeah. bothered by that because sometimes you ever like, God, man, when's somebody else gonna do something? Why, why I got to always, and then you gotta look at the text. And when you look at the text, the text suggests that everybody don't produce. Right. And then those that do produce, he want more. Yes, 
And so if you're going to abide with him, God is saying unto you that, that, that he wants more. And every believer, every Christian ought to have a desire to do more. Okay, 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 okay. Look at your neighbor, look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. You know man. You know man. It's a setup. Yes, already. <laughs> because 11 o'clock on not work for you today alone. All right. He won't mow. So show up at 3.30. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Y'all didn't think I was going to get that. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he won't, and some of you, God is saying, you ought not be satisfied with just 11 o'clock service. Yeah. And he produces, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants you to produce more. Yeah. And, and I know a lot of us, a lot of us want more, but we don't want to do more. Right, right, right. Right. And yet we want to be Christians. Yeah. You got to abide in him. And God, our purpose, our purpose is that we be productive Christians. Yes. Uh -huh. That God is saying, I, I, I don't want you to just talk Christianity. I want you to have a productive Christian walk. And so you got to produce some fruit. You got to. How, how you going how you gonna say you're on the Lord's side? And you got a little haterade in you. All right. All right. <laughs> One of the fruits is love. Right. Hello. Right. And God expects us to show some. You know, learn to put up with some folk. Mm. Oh, Lord. And and and, and uh, uh, you know I, I kind of uh, Jocelyn uh, and Junior Women was talking about the fruits, uh, uh, but I, I was kind of wondering. Uh, and you, maybe you need to go to Galatians and when you look at the fruit of the Spirit, I, I was wondering why was long-suffering one of the fruits? Mm. I, I kind of get love, I kind of get peace, I kind of get, get faith, I kind of, but, but, but long-suffering. Anybody know what it is to suffer? This one is long-suffering. It is one of the fruits of the spirit, and 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 some of us need to learn how to be more tolerant mm. of some stuff. Right. Um, uh, 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 long suffering. You got sometimes you got to put up with it. Listen, 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 listen. I, I was I was I was I, I, I was sharing. I was sharing. I was sharing, and that, that we need to be careful because uh, uh, I wanted to quit. The city of Austin. How many times? Almost every week. <laughs> All right. Woo. And I had to I had to look at the benefits. Uh-huh. I did. I had to I had to look at the the benefits. And I'm like, okay, if I, I done put up with them this long. If I just a little longer. Amen. Me working there is paying my bills. Uh -huh. And if I tolerate them a little longer, the benefit says I won't even have to come to them no more and they'll still be paying my bills. Y'all miss it. Y'all right. miss it. And so I, I had a long suffering. Yeah. Uh, I had to put up with being overlooked for positions, promotions, overlooked for raises. And I had to look. I can't quit. And then when you get a certain age, you don't want to start over. And I was, I was, um, um, a matter of fact, yesterday, one of the attorneys from the office called me and um, um, she was inviting me to um, her son's birthday party, but then she's like, uh, uh, but, but, but Melvin, 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 uh, pray for me to get another job. I need another job. I, Melvin, I need another job. And I say, I hear you. She said, but Melvin, I'm going to be vested with the city in February. And I said, then don't look for another job. 
to after February. You too close to some permanent money. Yeah. 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 And you need to be a little more tolerant until February. Don't quit yeah. Yeah. before February. And what's, what's old school, to Teresa? Don't uh, quit one job and get another. Tell Vanessa. Don't leave one job unless you have another. <laughs> there, there we go, there. <laughs> and so we gotta know that if we're gonna, if we're gonna listen, listen, how can you tell folk that you are a Christian when you tell them folk off all the time? <laughs> Is that true? And so we, we got to know that God expects us to produce fruit. Yeah. Right. And some of us, some of us are not, some of us are not producing good fruit. God is connecting. He, and once you here's the deal is once you connect to him and you connect to him right. You'll, you'll develop that. I can't help myself. Yeah. Yes, right. I, I, I wish I knew somebody right there. Uh, you, you, and, and once you really get connected to him, even when you want to be bad, you can't be bad. Right. 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 I should have got a right. folk right there. I, right. I, I, yeah. Anybody in here, you say, I ain't going to church. And then you show up anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. If anybody said I ain't speaking to them unless they speak yeah. to me and yeah. you spoke yeah. anyhow. Yeah. 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 Anybody and, 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 and sometimes even when you don't want to, yeah. you so connected that you will do it yeah. anyhow. Yeah. 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 So you gotta you gotta have some fruit. Yeah. And you cannot get no fruit. You cannot get no fruit. You cannot get no fruit if you ain't connected. Right. So you gotta realize the importance of the hookup, and you gotta you gotta abide so that you can produce some fruit. <coughs> and then the last thing is we need a relationship with the world. All right, all right, all right. Christians abiding in the word. We need a relationship. Right. So Jesus.